Good afternoon everyone. Today we're here to witness the debate between Jazara and Jerome. This debate is about who deserves the right to be on the Mission to Mars program. When you are ready, you may begin. I believe I should be on the uh, I should I believe I should be an astronaut on the Mission to Mars program because I work in this as I can. When I'm at home, sometimes I enjoy working or whatever, it depends what I'm feeling. If I got chosen, I could build a civilization on Mars. Why this is important so we can have something to live instead of one planet. Yeah. My first reason as to why I should be considered a place in the Mission to Mars program is because I am extremely talented at maths. For example, I alone have the mathematical ability to complete and conquer 60 complex mathematical equations in just 30 seconds. This shows that with this talent and with these skills, I am able. Oh, excuse me, sorry. I am at. Oh, I am able to complete any mathematical problem or task with ease. This. Talent, for sure, would be a must-have on the Mission to Mars program. Hence, more potential and talent to offer to the team. Secondly, I should be on the Mission to Mars program, is that I like to build and sketch our plans. Sometimes in my spare time, I like to sketch plans on what I'm going to build in the present or future. If I got chosen, I will sketch out plans, for example, aquaponics and houses. This is important because I reckon I could be a Good ambassador for the Mission to Mars program to build life on Mars. Furthermore, and this brings me to my second point, I am both physically and mentally strong. To illustrate, from a young age, I had the strength to lift prodigious amounts of weight. Now, at the age of 22 years old, I can truthfully say that I have improved tremendously in this area, as I am now able to carry a maximum mass of 2,000 kilograms. This strength of mind has the ability to help this program in more ways than you would think, including lifting spacecraft parts, technology, space junk, the list is never ending. Not to mention, in the midst of everything, still being able to maintain a strong, determined, and enthusiastic mindset. With these benefits stated, surely this strengthens my argument even more. The final reason is I can provide and prepare food. At home, I sometimes provide and help prepare seafood if needed for a special occasion or visitors. If I was a candidate on Mars, I could provide a lot of veggies and fish and prepare a nice piece. This is important because we need to stay stocked up and prepared for what's ahead. My last but definitely not least worthy reason is that I acquired the necessarily necessary qualities to attain a leadership role. Having qualities as such allows me to create a much bigger and positive impact on the Mission to Mars program. An instance where the skill of mine has been used to its best is that I was able to assist New Zealand in its victory in World War III. A major feat, I know, but imagine not having anybody to control the ship, manage the jobs, command the staff, and so forth. Take into mind that these are only a few of plenty reasons as of how this gift can be used to its greatest. It is true that Jimmy Joe can be. <laughs> it is true that Jimmy Joe can be a good candidate for the Mission to Mars program, but he struggles, trust issues with others. Jimmy Joe will not trust us doing anything. For example, if I was going to build something, she would he would leave everything to herself. And for this reason, it is my belief that Jimmy Joe is not a soon candidate for the mission to Mars program, and she had, he has trust issues. Now moving on to my opponent. Indeed, some may say that Jerome would be a major bonus on the mission to Mars program with his advantage of being resourceful. While this may be true, Jerome also has complications paying attention, or in short, has trouble listening. To give you a brief idea, Jerome for much of his youth had been a low achieving student and often got in trouble because of this issue. This lack of attention could impact negatively and affect the Mission to Mars program in several ways. 
including not following instructions due to receiving wrong information, not having any clue what to do, where to go, and so on. For this reason, it is my belief that Jerome is not a suitable candidate for the Mission Mars program because he simply finds it difficult to listen. And that concludes the debate between Jazara and Jerome. Thank you for your attendance. Well,